For more, let's go to UN headquarters in New York and correspondent Jessica Le Mazurier. This is the first leader-level UN Security Council meeting on climate change. It's also the first time a British Prime Minister has chaired a Security Council meeting since John Major in 1992. Well, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson told the Security Council in this virtual open debate that climate change poses a grave security threat. French President Emmanuel Macron also attended the meeting and called on world powers to consider appointing a special envoy for climate security to coordinate the Council's efforts in this area. But perhaps the most captivating speech came from 95-year-old British naturalist David Attenborough. He warned that climate change is the biggest threat to security that modern humans have ever faced. And he said that changes in patterns of weather could turn forests into deserts and drown great cities. I don't envy you the responsibility that this places on you all, he told the Security Council. Well, Sir David added that uh, it can only be dealt with if countries around the world come together to declare a climate emergency to tackle the, quote, new and unprecedented threats facing future generations. U.S. climate envoy John Kerry also attended the meeting. Just a few days ago, the U.S. officially rejoined the Paris Climate Accord. Kerry told the U.N. Security Council that the failure of governments to work together to stem climate change will condemn the world to, quote, marching forward in what is almost tantamount to a mutual suicide pact. Now, African leaders, including Kenyan President Kenyatta, underscored the clear link between climate change and security and said that Africa will suffer, unfortunately, the worst of climate change. The UK holds the presidency of the Security Council this month and hosts the COP26 summit in Glasgow this coming November. It'll be attended by dozens of world leaders and is likely to be the most significant round of global talks since the Paris Agreement was signed back in 2015.